So this is going to be fun. Uh, long story short, I uh, messed up my camera on my phone. And uh, I can only use the, uh, the rear view camera, but we'll see if we can make it work. So today, this is going to be the tip for that shit box. The Drift Z. Um, so yeah, I got this for dumb cheap. So I'm going to sand it, use some metal polish to clean it up, and then try to do burnt tips on it, and then maybe do a little burning on the welds. Like right around that area so uh it should be pretty straightforward um just get some sandpaper uh metal polish and a propane torch which has been annoying to try and find but besides that uh, let's see which one of these i want to use 600 or 120. i'll try the 180 and see but I'm gonna sand it real quick, at least to get the rust off and stuff, use some metal polish, and then see how it comes out. So here is a before, all nasty like. And hopefully we'll do a better one. I also have an exhaust for the S1K. And if I do pretty well on that, I'm gonna do the exhaust, the Dan Moto on the Grom. Uh, same thing, just sand it, clean it up, and then use the torch. So this will be the test dummy since it's for the Z, and if I don't like it, I'll just paint it black. So sanding goes first. So let's do it. So hopefully it's not blurry because I can't see shit, but it's been sanded. Looks a bit better. The rest is annoying in the gooch, but for now it'll work. Mainly just worried about doing the tips and everything and polishing it. So. That's what it looks like sanded. You can see it's a rough surface. That's kind of chrome. But I'm just using the metal polish now. You can get a liquid one. I got this one that's like a cotton swab on the metal polish too. So we'll see how that works. But pretty much just polishing that. You can use a buffer, it'd be a lot easier. But I'm not using that today. So we'll see how that works. So it kind of didn't really do too much. But it is what it is. Like I said, it's for the Z. So gonna use the propane torch and hopefully just light the tips um, you slowly just burn it until it goes and I'll see if I can record it but trying to do it one hand it will probably be difficult so let's see so as you can see it, you know, it's decent um, if you have a clean pipe first it's probably a lot better but uh, it's not bad it's pretty straightforward so I think I'm probably, it's a lot of sanding. So if you have a power sander or something like that, it's gonna be a lot easier. But if uh, if you have a clean pipe to start with, like you get a brand new exhaust and you wanna do it, which is gonna be perfect for the S1K. Um, I'm gonna do it to that one and see. Um, some people say you can clear coat over it so it doesn't lose, like it'll fade out. So we might try that, might just leave it as it is. I don't know yet. but. I'm gonna do the rest of the pipe. Um, I might try to get like that blue around the edge on there, but uh, mainly just worried about the tip. So, so this is the finished product, hot off the press. The other side is a lot better, but it's hot, so I can't turn it over right now. But um, I feel like I just didn't start the clean surface. I probably should have buffed and polished and all that good stuff, but. It's for the Z, so it is what it is. Probably gonna wait to do the Grom because it is a it's a decent amount of work, or at least I'll learn how to do it a little bit better first. But yeah, so for now, I have the brand new exhaust for the S1000, so I'm gonna do that and see how that comes out. But that'll be it for this video. So um, I just sanded with 120 grit. I probably should have used a little bit less coarse. I did a little bit of 600 grit. That's probably the nicer areas on the pipe. So once you do 600, probably do up to like a thousand. And then once it's like smooth, probably like rubbing compound or something to polish it. I did not do that. I just did this in the quickness. So it looks better than it did before. So this will be going on the Z either way. And that's the uh, shit box that I don't care about. So 
Uh, that'll, that'll do it for this. Like I said, it's an instructional video. It's not how you should do it as a professional, but it works. It looks better. So, hope this helps. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll probably do a video of seeing how the S1000 exhaust comes out. So, um, yeah.